everybody and welcome back to Butte Road. Thanks once again for joining me here. Um, thanks for all the messages of support on the last video for the change to the southern region, both on YouTube and on RM Web. A lot of support from RM Web members, a lot of support from YouTubers as well. So uh, that is appreciated. I'm not going to gabble on too much today because I've got a lot to show you. We're going to have two or three running sessions, probably three today I hope. And also, I've got a lot of scenics to show you that I've been doing as well. So, let's get on. Let's enjoy running some trains to start with. I'll see you at the end of the video. Just show one job that I've been doing here and that is around the village I've put in the walling under the cottage with a slope coming down and a wall at the bottom by the road and uh, the same round behind the pub and behind the chapel so that will get uh, done in green flock and brambles and bushes etc and then there'll be a little garden at the top from the cottage on the hill there so that's where we are with that and uh, say the next stage is to add bushes and brambles and greenery to that area all right let's have a look at some uh, scenics i've been doing and uh, as you can see i've got a, a few pots of flocks and grasses out and bits and pieces so um, i've been doing some more stuff this is another foliage that i use quite a bit of and it's um it's like a matting and the more you pull it out the more it goes like a an ivy or a hedge or something like that um, it comes in like a, a thick mat and when you when you tease it out it actually comes out really fine you can see through it so putting it over a dark surface it shows through and looks really really good I'll show you what I mean in a moment but when you do it always do it in a pot because you get lots of bits fall off which are really useful for trees and bushes later on and that's Woodland Scenic Light Green Foliage F51. So that's what I've used a little bit of up here. So let's show you what I've done this morning. Um, so we've got steps going up now, as I say, to the uh, chapel. And some bushes around there. And that's some of that light foliage on that corner. You can see I've put it over some dark. And when the PVA is dry, that will show through. And I've used it around the back as a sort of ivy um, that will hold on to the wall up there as a sort of ivy and um, also as a bush and a shrub up in the corner there so when the back scene's in that corner that'll all be hidden uh, I've put the pathway in around the cottage and I've redone the driveway I did it yesterday but I wasn't totally happy with it so I've used beach sand now and again the PVA is waiting to dry there and then I'll do the lawn and the garden there later on and then there'll be a hedgerow continuing from the end of this wall up this side of the road probably do the same as I did over the other side uh, that's sort of a hedgerow so on there and that's it sorry about that I'm in mobile never mind there we go so that's the view at the moment and that's where we are with the village.
Hello and right, we're going to uh, have a quick look at some scenics before I make a start doing the harbour properly. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown this before or not, but when I'm doing my landformers, I use just ordinary cereal packet cardboard, that sort of thing. So it's hot glue gunned along here, and then the same around the bottom, and that gives me a fairly good shell to work on to put the formers, to put the... Uh, the masking tape over in a moment. Um, the next stage is to do the masking tape and the PVA which I'm going to show in a moment but this is one that I've done already and as you can see it gives you a good shell to blend it in and then once I've done the, the shell I give it a coat of green paint and that or brown doesn't matter really a dark colour so that if you've got a, a gap in your flock or in your ground cover, in your static grass or whatever it doesn't show through quite so bad so as you can see I've added some more card there over the last couple of days just with the hot glue gun uh, to give me a an embankment along the bank there so I'm going to cover that now with a bit of masking tape I won't show it all but I'll just show you basically what I do um, around there So what we're going to do, take my pot of um, PVA, plenty of PVA on there, give it a brush over because even though masking tape is self-adhesive, this really does make it stick to the, to the former and also soaks into the masking tape to give it a good shell. I've got a join here on the board which I'm just going to separate there so that the uh, the two don't get stuck together when I come to put the scenic on. Um, so this is how I start when I'm doing my masking tape piece. Plenty on there, like so. And then literally just tear off normally six or eight inches or so of masking tape put it over and again with the brush plenty of PVA on there and over the top of that and then I just build up in layers all the way up through until I've got to the sort of size and the covering that I'm looking for well there we go I've blended it in a little bit now um, put a couple more trees there which will be foreground trees but they're not very good at the moment I'm going to redo those uh, later on but uh, I've just given some colour along there now and uh, it's more or less set the fields and the hills back a little bit further now and looking better so that's that done and the uh, estuary area just put a bit of paint in where I might put some mud later on and done the back so that's all blending in better now and looking uh, more as it should do and the roadway of course disappearing through the back scene there which normal viewing is out of sight and disappears so there we go so the next section here is to do the flock I've got a little piece here of card that I've forgotten to paint but never mind that will sit just over there I'll probably cut it back a bit more with some bushes on and that will be just a left out piece for when I want to separate the baseboards because the over centre latch is hidden in there so that's it yeah we're uh, we're coming on another job done
contrary to what I said in the previous video, I did decide to put a little bit of height in the village, nowhere near as much as I was going to. So the road now goes up and there the the pub is going to go back into that corner there. The detached house will go there so the road disappears off between the two and then there's another road coming up here that will disappear behind the house there so uh, the station car park is going to be here there'll be a wall around or something and then greenery down the back and then the other cottage will be somewhere around about here to hide the road going around behind it there so we'll have a look and see how that comes out shortly now another quick look I've put some pavements in now around the uh, the pub and then there'll be greenery along the back and the back corner there's a pavement in front of that cottage there as well and then there'll be a wall this side and then I put a, a back path with access both ends around the house there but the whole house comes off in one and there's my over centre latch when I want to take the baseboards apart so that will just drop back into place PVA is still wet underneath so I'll just be a bit careful there so and then there'll be a wall along the front coming along there and that'll be the cottages up on the hill there and the road disappearing around behind there and then there's going to be a wall around the car park here as well because that's going to be the the car park so i've just got that one to do now and finally the little cottage there with the path around the front uh, i've drawn the line there for the platform fencing which is across here and then the back garden of the cottage will go in that area down there and uh, there'll be some bushes along the other side to hide the road disappearing and following the line of the hedgerow out into the countryside so that's the uh, the four buildings done now in the village behind the station and now the wall around the car park has been done so and the road goes up the hill very slightly in the back and the wall in front of the cottage is done so uh, there'll be a grass embankment coming down to the platform level there and and then grass along here of some sort and then uh, the car park road coming down car park entrance will be on this corner around here it's going to come forward a bit to about there and uh, there we go and then grass embankment around the back so that's that little corner done So there we have it, I uh, hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll be back again, some more scenics on the next one, um, I'm going to try and make a start weathering the track and maybe even getting some ballasting done so hopefully we'll see you on the next video, thanks again for all your support, bye now. <laughs>